In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this amazing adjustable text reveal animation in After Effects, so let's get to it. First, I'll create a new composition. It will be in 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second, 5 seconds for the duration. Click OK. Then select the type tool and type something. I'll do motion design in two separate words. For the font, I'm using Montreal Black with a size of 150 pixels in all caps. After you type the first word, hold the control key and double click on the pan behind tool to center the anchor point, then open the align tab and align the text to the center of the composition. Now after creating the first word, let's do the second one, select the selection tool, then highlight the text down here, go up to edit, duplicate or press ctrl D as a shortcut, then bring the duplicated text layer down, double click on it and type the second word, design, then click away, and here make sure that the texts are overlapping like this in the middle. So here my paragraph is set to center paragraph and make sure you do that as well. Now after creating the text, let's create the line that will be going across revealing the text. For that, we're going to select the pen tool. Make sure you're not highlighting any text layers. Let's zoom in. And here for the fill, I'm going to say to none and then click on the word stroke, set it to a solid color. I'm going for white color and the stroke width 20 pixels. Now let's create a line that will be slightly taller than the text. So maybe one point here and another one over here. Hold shift so the line is straight. Now we need to create the mask that will follow this line across revealing the text. And there are multiple ways you can do that. But I found this way to be the best in terms of conveniently readjusting the position of the mask based on the changes that you do to the text. And I'll show you what I mean by this later in the video. So let's create the mask now. For that we're going to select the rectangle tool. Make sure you're not selecting any layers, so click away if you do. Then we're going to double click on the rectangle tool. That'll create a big rectangle that has the size of the composition. But we need to bring back fill for this rectangle. For that, we're going to select uh, the fill, set it to a solid color. And for the color, I'm going for gray to see the difference between the, the mask and the line. And click on the word stroke, set it to none, no stroke for this. Then select the pan behind tool. Select the shape layer 2 so you can see the anchor point in the center and drag this anchor point to the right. Hold control so it snaps to this right side. Then switch back to the selection tool and move the shape layer to the left and align it with the tiny line like this. Now let's rename this to mask and the line to line and also bring the line above the mask like that. And now we need to bring up properties of both mask and the line. So select both layers, press P to bring up position. And we're going to hold the Alt key and click on the position stopwatch for the mask. That will enable us to add expressions. But the only thing we need here is this pick whip. So drag it, click and drag it on top of the line's position and let go. Then simply click away and the expression is ready. So what we've done here, we've linked the position property of the mask to the position property of the line. So now if we move the line, the mask will follow it. So here we can hide the mask, the visibility of it, because we do not need to see it. Then open effects and presets window and search for set matte effect. Add it to the first text. Let's hide the second text for now. Then head over to the effect controls panel. Let's open the drop down for the take matte from layer and select mask. And as we do that, we can no longer see the text. But if we select our line and move it across, you can see that the text is getting revealed. Now, let's uh, select the motion text. Then in effect control, select the set matte effect and press control C to copy it. Select the second word and press control V to paste it in here and also check invert matte. Now, let's go ahead and animate the line across and then we can bring back the second text as well. Now, let's uh, open the settings of the line, then click on the add button. So select trim paths, expand trim paths, mo move the time indicator to the start of the timeline. Set start to 50% and 50% and create keyframes for both. Let's move half a second forward, 15 frames for me. Then increase the start to 100 and end to 0. Also at this point, let's create a keyframe for position. So open transform settings, create a keyframe for position. Move one second forward from here. And then we're going to drag this line across to the other side like this. Now let's move one second forward. And select the first position keyframe, Control C, Control V to paste it in here, so the line goes back. And also let's copy the trim paths keyframes, select them, Control C, Control V, then right click on any of these, keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframes. Now let's press U, 
to see just the keyframes and give ourselves some space. And we're going to come to this middle keyframe for the position. Let's bring back the second text visibility. And we're going to drag the start of the second text layer to this point. So it's not visible until this moment. And after you do that, we can just preview this. And here we have the line animating from nothing. Then it goes to the right, revealing the first word. Then it comes back. As it comes back, it hides this, the first word and reveals the second one. And then it goes out like that. Now let's adjust the velocity and make everything smoother. For that, let's drag and select the trim paths keyframes. So right click any of them. Keyframe assistant easy. So press F9 as a shortcut and open the graph editor. Right click, make sure edit speed graph is selected. Now I'm going to select the second point. You'll see these yellow handles and drag this handle all the way to the left. And then select the third point and drag this handle all the way to the right. And that's how the graph should look, even from both sides. Now let's select position. So I click on it and click on it again. So these ones are highlighted. Then press F9 to easy ease the keyframes. Click away, then select the second point in the middle and drag these handles out like that. So again, this is how the graph should look, even from both sides. Now if we exit the graph editor and preview this, the whole animation will be a lot smoother, but we can make it even better by adding motion blur. So if you don't see this column, Click toggle, switches on mode until you do, and enable motion blur for the line and for the mask. And now if you preview, everything should be even smoother. And now let me show you what I meant by this method to be the best in terms of conveniently readjusting the position of the mask based on the changes that you do to the text. So here in this example, I'm using motion design, two words that are relatively short and almost even in size, so we don't have any problems with this animation. So let's say if I were to use a different word such as graphics. So Graphics is slightly longer compared to design. So let me change it design to graphics. And if preview, we'll see that the second word is not fully animated. It is getting cut off here. And in this case, we would need to move the line further as well as uh, the mask. But since we've linked the position of the mask to the position of the line, all we have to do here is change two keyframe values for the line. And that is it. So if we come to the middle keyframe for the position of the line, Select the line and move it across like further so nothing is showing through. Then go to the next position keyframe and again move it a bit further so we can see the entire word. Now we can go ahead and do the preview and we have a fully working text reveal animation with a new combination of words. And if you look closely here, you can see some bit showing through. That is because of the motion block caused by the line. And we can simply come to three seconds and bring the end point of the line to this uh, point so that it is not visible after it animates out and here let's go ahead and do the full preview and that is how you create an amazing adjustable text reveal animation in after effects i hope you enjoyed and learned something new thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one peace out